Hi, this is Kathleen West with a quick demo of my Phase 1 Restaurant Reviews application. I'm going to demonstrate responsive design. This is a large desktop. Notice how the margin is auto on larger screens. As we go on to smaller screens, the pages page adjusts and our flex layout adjusts as well. Going into um, a smaller screen still and you can see the responsiveness of the web app and then we hit a major breakpoint and it readjusts the flexbox containers and then we go from two down to one on the smaller mobile devices and it's designed for a minimum of 320 which is the industry standard if we go to the details for the restaurant you can see the responsiveness as well here and I will just increase the, uh, the screen size. So we hit a major breakpoint on screen real estate. It sizes accordingly. And then it becomes an auto margin on larger screens. Very, very larger screens. <laughs> And I am going to quickly demonstrate the offline capability. Um, so there's something called a service worker. Um, first of all, sorry, I have to re remove my um, recording thing. It keeps getting in the way of my Google developer tools. So it's caching right now. And I just want to make a note that it is caching. Um, whatever it needs to load um, and it deletes caches it does not need anymore so it is, there is a script um, but we're we're gonna look at the service worker right now so there is a service worker on my web app that I made and I'm going to demonstrate offline capability so I put the application in offline I'm gonna go back and refresh it And so now the web app is loading from the cache and you can see from the Google developer tools the network is down so this website is accessible on somebody's phone. Once they load it once, it loads uh, if, they, if they have a network problem or well, actually it's a offline first app so it does load from the cache first. Um, and doesn't have it in the cache or needs to refresh it'll it'll do a network fetch but um, the standard now is called offline first and as you can see we are responsive and the data is available all this data for all the restaurants are available offline because it is cached in uh, the user's browser and if they lose their network um they can come back they can come back up well um check out my project on my github account and i have two more phases to go in this uh, udacity nano degree two more projects so it's going to build upon this i think um i recently replaced the map api it is a lot better this is using leaflet from uh, the map box. So you can get a free map access token from mapbox.com and that's what I did. And you can check out my code and how I did this. It took me a lot of hours and often frustration, but I learned a lot and um, just gotta keep on improving. And, and, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. <laughs> Have a great day.